If you're a believer in the supernatural, it's likely that you've had your share of run-in with ghosts. But these 10 creepiest ghost sightings caught on tape are among the most mysterious, terrifying, and downright frightening. Now, if you like to have a good scare, here is our number 10. Abraham Lincoln if you wanted proof of the existence of ghosts, there are a few photos that could suffice. In the past, some photographers were supposedly said to be skilled in taking ghost pictures, and one of them was William H. Moomler, who was a spirit photographer during the 19th century. Moomler became famous for his ability to capture the spirits of the dead with his camera, and on one occasion, he took a photo of Mary Todd Lincoln. The wife of President Abraham Lincoln was picking up a print, and upon developing the photo, a spirit who looked exactly like former President Abraham Lincoln was seen standing behind her. Many present at the time who saw the photo said that the person in the background looked exactly like him. Number 9. The Amityville Ghost, Ronald What would you do if you bought a seemingly normal house and that house turned out to be haunted? You wouldn't live in it, of course. Or would you? Well, that's what happened to the Lutz family, who purchased a house in Amityville, New York in 1975. The house was allegedly the site of a mass murder carried out by DeFeo Jr. The Lutz family left the house after only 28 days, claiming they were terrorized by various spirits while living there, one of which was a boy who appeared in a photo taken by Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are well-known paranormal investigators. The Warrens took the picture of this boy smiling brightly at the camera when the Lutz family left. Number 8. Lord Cumbermere in 1891 Sometimes you can catch a glimpse of the dead, especially if they're the ghost of someone famous when in 1891, the second Viscount Cumbermere was laid to rest at St. Margaret's Church in Westminster Abbey in London. A family member placed a camera at the library to take an hour-long exposure, and you won't believe what showed up in the photo. Lord Cumbermere was indeed four miles away at the time of his own funeral at St. Margaret's Church sitting in his chair, and he seemed to be taking a brief rest before likely continuing on to the afterlife. Number 7. Freddie Jackson You might not think much about a photo of a squadron of Royal Air Force squadrons standing around, or something might just seem like nothing out of the ordinary. Well, that's because the photo in question was taken in 1919 and would probably just look like a bunch of guys standing around. But there is one thing that stands out about it, the ghostly face of the air mechanic Freddie Jackson, who tragically died in an airplane propeller accident two days before this photo was taken. People who knew Freddy couldn't help but notice the resemblance between Jackson and the ghostly face in the photo. Some like to think that since Jackson seemed unaware of his passing, that he joined in on the group photo. Number 6. Ellen Hamill There are many urban legends about ghosts or spirits who hitchhike but this might be one of the creepiest. A photo of Mabel Chinnery taken in 1959 shows her husband wearing an expression like he's just seen a ghost with no guy to help him steer the car. The thing is, Mabel's mother had died a week earlier, and Mrs. Hamill was known for sitting in the exact spot whenever Chinnery drove her around. And even though it might have seemed like a double exposure, Mrs. Hamill's ghostly image can still be seen in the back seat of any vehicle when driving around the road that leads to her grave. Number 5. Spectre of Newby Church most of us have probably heard of the strange stories of ghostly apparitions who appear in photos, but most of us have probably not heard of the story of the ghost sightings at the church hall. Newby Church of Christ, the consular, is a beautiful church. However, the dark figure hanging out in the corner wearing what appears to be a hooded robe and chain, that some people believe would be a 9-foot tall 16th century monk, others claim it's merely a costumed accomplice. It's also been theorized that the figure is a product of double exposure, which is when multiple images are placed over each other to create a single image, although if a few photography experts don't agree with this theory, they may beg to differ. Number 4. The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall Paranormal fans are probably familiar with the story of the Brown Lady, who is supposedly the ghost of Dorothy Walpole, the sister of Prime Minister Robert Walpole and the second wife of Charles Townsend. As legend has it, Townsend learned that Dorothy had an affair with nobleman Thomas Worthen. At the time, she was wearing an old-fashioned brown dress, hence the nickname The Brown Lady. While much of that story is based on rumors, this photo is all the proof some spiritualists need to prove it was the ghost of Lady Dorothy Walpole walking down the stairs of Raynham Hall, which is said to be haunted. Captain Hubert C. Province took this photo in 1936, which he believed to be authentic. Number 3. Ginevra King you may have heard of the novel The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm Gatsby. But did you know that the inspiration for the book's lead character was an actual person? Ginevra King? The owner of this haunting photo believed it to be a ghostly image of King, 
Upon seeing it, of course, no one is claiming that Fitzgerald based the book entirely on her. Ginevra King was a Chicago socialite and a lover of Fitzgerald. But a chef, Christy Renieri, snapped this photo in 2018 at an abandoned summer home in Lake Forest, Illinois, which is the King's former residence. Renieri claims that the strange appearance in the picture is the Ginevra King's ghost. Number 2. The Salem Witch Trials a lot of people are a little disturbed by the Salem witch trials, but it is not uncommon for people to see ghosts in photos. Some are said to be related to high-profile people who were victims of the trials. A ghostly figure that looks like a man's scowling face is seen in this photograph of a lamppost outside a courthouse in Salem, home of the Salem witch trials. The chilling figure, which appears to be a ghostly reappearance of a man, was allegedly taken at the same site, where 19 out of over 300 persons were hanged in the Salem witch trials. Mayor Kim Drizgol posted the image to her official Twitter account sometime in 2017. Number 1. The Terrifying Terrier For anyone who has gone through losing a pet, it is never easy, especially when it's a beloved pet. Although, for one pet owner in this other photo, the loss of their dog was also the cruel death of their playmate. The dog's death took a noticeable toll on a big dog. However, the little friend seems to have been closer than anyone imagined until you look at the second photo of the big dog and notice what looks like the little terrier floating over its former playmate. Do you think the photo was a hoax, or was the terrier not ready to leave the big dog? The story generated massive interest in the publication of Life magazine. Do you think any of these photos are some sort of camera manipulation? Whatever your opinion is, let me know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to check out our other interesting videos on the left and right side of your screen. See ya!